First, I want to share a few general thoughts about this project. My mother was a composition major and quite an accomplished classical pianist. She played several recitals, and even though she wasn't quote-unquote a professional musician, <clears throat> um, she was pretty amazing. I took classical guitar lessons as a child, and later, as, a, as an adult, I played in a couple of bands. Sadly, my own output was folk music, when what I was hoping for was more of a punk vibe. But most of all, I'm a fan, and I will say I have always been jealous of music's ability to directly move the soul, which I think is more difficult in visual art. Music, of course, exists in the time, and in visual art is spatial, generally speaking, and from these very different axes of existence, each draws their power and relevance. I have always sought to create connections between my artwork and music. My main strategy, at least for a while, was to write my own pieces relating to my artworks. But mostly, I volunteered my services to musicians who needed album cover art. I am truly grateful to be involved with this project with 5x5 and Laura Lenz, and I am glad to have a chance to further contribute. So I just want to say thank you to all of the musicians of 5x5, Laura Lentz, Macy Bacon, Sung Min Shin, Eric Polinick, and Heyun Jun, as well as, of course, the composers Edie Hill, Jung Sung Kan, Jonathan Russell, and Andrea Mazzariello. All right, now as for my approach to this, I heard the pieces for the very first time live at the 5x5 performance at the Rochester Memorial Art Gallery opening weekend of my exhibition. I loved them. But I will say that in three out of four cases, I had a hard time seeing any connection to my piece. But no matter, I am aware that the composers when responding to my work were not intending to illustrate it or make direct analogous pieces. The idea was to be inspired. In choosing pieces for this aspect of the project, I had a few ideas. I wanted to allow the title some influence on me, but only a little. I wanted to attempt some sort of synesthesia. And I should say, as far as I know, I'm not actually a synesthete. I wanted to understand the pieces on their own terms and find analogous works uh, that I've made. And finally, I tried at first to keep from knowing too much about what the composer may have said about the project, lest it influence me too much. But in some cases, that was hard or impossible. <clears throat> Um, finally, I thought it would be fun to do beverage pairings as well, so stay tuned. And also, I have never made a movie of myself before in my life, so apologies in advance. <laughs>